Good evening to you all. We're really grateful that you've come. Our purpose in being here tonight is to uh, uh, provide a support for the home league of the Salvation Army here at Clearwater, Clearwater Citadel, particularly with regard to their uh, world missions program, their world services efforts. So we're, we want to accomplish two things. We want you to relax and enjoy the music. We want you to be sure you know where your wallet is because at some point along the way here, we're going to take up an offering. And uh, mostly we're just glad you're here. Now, I'm sure you are aware of the fact that you're at the Salvation Army tonight. Salvation Army music is a wonderful thing. Music is a wonderful thing. Music, music is a language given by God, I think. I think it's safe to say that biblical, biblically the God, that God has instructed us that we should use music, that we should produce music, that we should make music. There are all kinds of music. My own opinion is, and I suspect it could be debated, but my own opinion is music by itself is amoral. It's a gift to be used as we will, and for us, the appropriate way to use it is to praise God. Now, if you've been around the Army a lot, of course, you would understand, you would know this in advance, but if you're one of our many visitors tonight, and we especially welcome you, uh, You'll be interested to know that all of the music played by, almost all of the music played by the Salvation Army has wonderful uh, Christian words, poetry, uh, built into the music. But if you're not much of a musician, sometimes it's hard to tell where it is in that. So tonight we're going to focus on the words that are embedded in the music that we play with the hope that it will bring blessing to you, that will bring a little bit of inspiration, maybe some new understanding about how the work of the army, uh, the music of the army is produced. I do want to say in advance a special word of thanks to somebody you will not see tonight, at least not for a while at any rate, and that's Major Betty Bender. Major, Major Bender is a member of this band, although she doesn't play in the band. Uh, she plays solo, solo cybernet. <clears throat> and she sits up there, and you will see the words and so forth coming at the right time. That's not an easy job that she's done. So in advance, Betty, we say thank you to you for that. And also, a person who does not play in the band, but plays along with the band from time to time, is our keyboard section, Commissioner Raymond Cooper. You'll hear from him along the way here. So relax, have a good uh, evening together with us. We'll do our best to keep it moving along, but I am going to give a little bit of explanation along the way as we go. The first number we play, you'll recognize it right off the bat. You won't even need words on this one, mostly, I would think. But it's a good street march. You will know that in the early days of the Army, the band would go out on the street corner, and we would proclaim the Christian gospel, and we would use music to attract people to come and listen to what we have to say and see how, how it might benefit them and to invite them to be followers of Jesus. And so this is a good example of that, Golden Jubilee. Thank you. 